back to the Wowie Kazowie Art Show. If you've ever been curious about using watercolor paper, I'm going to show you a really fun technique using pen and ink and watercolor. What you're going to need is some soft watercolor brushes, maybe three different sizes, a toothpick, a black pen, a white crayon, and you're like, why a white crayon? Well, it's because we're going to do magic tricks. You're going to need a drawing pencil and an eraser. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my art demonstration. So there's all the different kinds of watercolor paper that you can get. Just get something that's a lightweight watercolor paper. Don't spend a whole lot of money on something expensive. Then what you want to do is draw some type of a vase shape. If you can't draw and you're like scared because you can't draw, just go ahead and find something in the house that has an interesting shape. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your shape and put it on a piece of watercolor paper and trace it. So what you want to do is put your bottle on the watercolor paper, take your drawing pencil and trace your bottle. You don't have to go all the way up and around your bottle, but then you want to create the mouth, which is more like a happy face opening. And that way, you know, you can have something coming out of this. So go ahead and draw whatever you want. It can be, you know, a little flower. And then you can draw a design on your bottle. Now you take your black ink pen, and black is a good color, and go around the same exact lines that you just drew with your black ink pen. When you're done outlining your bottle here with your black ink pen, you don't want it just floating in the air, so go ahead and draw something behind it like it's sitting on a table. Now we're taking a white crayon with clear wax and we're going to make some textures in the bottle. You can't see it because it's clear, but it's going to resist the watercolor when we put watercolor on top. Okay. We can do some in the background of this. We'll put a little bit on the table here. So now you have your watercolors, and you just want to put a drop of water in each color. Just put a little drop of water on each color. So now you want to take some of your colors, and let's see what happens when we put it on the crayon area. See how the wax resists that? And you just want to start coloring in your vase. When you use watercolors, you want to use a lot of water. If it bleeds, you can take a little piece of paper and it will pick up the excess. If you take a toothpick and scratch into your paper, it will make more texture in your art. Make sure to rinse your paintbrush off really good when you go to the next color.
here's some salt. We're just going to sprinkle it on the wet stuff. Go right back into your watercolor paper and you can take a wet Q-tip and if you want to go back in and take color out, you can always go right back in, wet your Q-tip, find an area, and you can see you can go right in and it takes color out. That's what's fun about watercolor paper is that you can wait you know, months or years and go back into it and take color out or add color. You can keep working your drawing forever. But you can see the different techniques that we did with the toothpick scratching into the drawing. The white crayon is where all the color resisted on the paper. And then we still see our ink even though we went over it with watercolors. And you'll also notice where I sprinkled the salt on the drawing, it's making kind of a tie-dye effect. So have fun experimenting with watercolor paper.